Hey everyone, Cedric Evley here. I'm here at our shop at Lyle Bikes and uh, I'm alone right now and it's pretty quiet around here at the moment. It's normally busy in this industrial area. The reason it's quiet is because it's 8 p.m. on a Sunday and only crazy people work at this time. And my coworker Alex is up at Pemberton right now and he's gonna meet me tomorrow in Whistler for an exciting reason that I'll tell you folks about in a sec. We're deciding that we're going to attempt <clears throat> making these three parts out of aluminum and we're going to CNC machine them. I've been wanting to get into industrial scale CNC machining of aluminum parts for a while and uh, this is a pretty cool opportunity to do it. We already have been CNC machining some of the parts of the Super Drive. So for example, the, the two lower pulleys here are out of plastic, out of acetal. We've been CNC machining those ourselves. There's also a part in the hydraulic damper of the chain tensioner that we CNC machine ourselves. And I've been doing that with this little pocket NC desktop mill. Um, but for aluminum parts, this machine would be way too slow and it doesn't automatically change tools. So, um, and it doesn't have a coolant system. So for, for aluminum, yeah, we definitely want to have a bigger, like proper industrial CNC machine. And fortunately we're an industrial in an industrial space where we have three phase electric power. So we can have a proper industrial CNC machine. And our thinking is to plop one right here in this space. And back to what I was mentioning earlier about meeting Alex in Whistler, it's that we are going to go to North Shore Billet to pick up a Haas DT1 CNC mill from them. And uh, we're super excited about it. So just today I, I went and picked up a, a trailer that a friend is lending to me. I'm also borrowing our neighbor's pickup truck. So that's what I have just around the corner here. I have this huge, <laughs> freaking gigantic turbo diesel dually pickup truck. And then a big three axle trailer out back. So I'm gonna be driving this thing onto a boat and then over to the other side of Howe Sound and then up the Sea to Sky Highway to Whistler to North Shore Billet. I'll be doing that tomorrow and I'll take you folks along for the journey. We are going to get a CNC machine on the back of that thing. But first, before we go on that adventure, there's a couple additional points that I want to make. I just remembered. One of them is that the Super A Drive does currently have a bunch of parts that are CNC machined out of aluminum. And it's just that that's, those are all made by uh, CNC machine shops, local CNC machine shops in coastal BC. And one of them, for example, is, is JS Foster. They've been making some great quality parts. Another is, is North Shore Billet themselves. They've been making the the derailleur links and also the the idler pulley and the thing is especially for these three parts the cost would be quite high to cnc machine those i mean the cost is already high for these uh these derailleur links and so we're hoping that if we start doing some cnc machining in-house that we can keep our costs down and especially long term it'll it'll minimize costs and that way we can offer the super drive parts for the best price possible for you folks so far I'm in Squamish. I successfully drove a giant truck on a boat and now I'm getting some gas. And uh, getting a lot of respect for the people who drive gigantic trucks. <laughs> it's, it's pretty tricky. Onward to Whistler. All right, we're here at North Shore Billet and there's Alex. Alex, say hi to everybody. <laughs> and this is a, the Haas DT1 that we're getting. This is a, it's a three axis CNC mill, but it's meant for going really fast. And that's part of why it's smaller than some other big CNC mills. And it's got this fourth axis rotary, so it can, the thing can rotate that way. So it's effectively a four axis machine. And then there's a big tool changer up there and there's a whole coolant system. And yeah, we're here, we got the, the trailer and the truck all ready to go. We're just trying to line up a forklift to load it. And uh, yeah, it's freaking exciting. Like, look at this thing. <laughs> and here is North Shore Billet. For those who haven't seen, seen the shop, it's all kinds of CNC machines, a big, big, nice one back there. But uh, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff here. This is the, this is the sort of cooling tank, cooling tank thing for the, for the DT1. 
and yeah, there's so much to learn. Super exciting. Look at that. We got it on the trailer. All strapped down and everything. This is awesome. It's got a cast iron base. A lot of weight right there. Moving a lot of steel here. And uh, yeah, she's good to go. Back to the Sunshine Coast. So here we are driving through Squamish with our new Haas DT1 on the triple axle trailer back there and safety officer Benji <laughs> All right, we're back at LAL HQ here on the Sunshine Coast and it's actually been several weeks since I last filmed the, the, the previous clips in this video and I sort of forgot for a while that we were making this, this video it's still new to me, this whole long format video thing and uh, so we have the CNC machine here we actually, we, yeah, we, we, we borrowed a forklift from a neighbor, we unloaded the CNC machine from the trailer, and we, and we have it here, check it out. That's the machine, so that's the Haas DT1. And uh, yeah, so quick turnaround, we got the, the Lyle HQ here, upstairs and everything, and there's the machine sitting right there at the front. So we've been, we've been uh, working on it for a few weeks now and we're getting the hang of it. As you can see, we got some parts already that we just, we just finished machining these. There are two tension arms. So previously our tension arms were, they look like this, they were 3D printed and they were 3D printed in, in this little room with those two machines. And now we're figuring out how to make them out of aluminum. This was an early prototype. This, these are the latest and greatest. So this guy here, I can rotate. Yeah, there you go. So this is a, this is a, it's called a rotary table. So it rotates this way so that you can basically machine for parts from different orientations. And also it allows us to have parts on all four sides of this thing. And then the machine can rotate it to access the different parts. But so for these tension arms, it starts as one big block of aluminum that we machine the first side here. And then the two parts get split in that machining operation. And then we load up the two tension arms here and we do all the machining on the second side. And there they are, they're all done. So we had to do a whole bunch of things to get this machine up and running. We, uh, yeah, we, so we got it off the trailer. We had to position it here in the shop and that was a little bit tricky. And, and then we had to level the machine. It's got six feet, so it was kind of tricky to get it to be all flat. We used a precision level. And uh, I connected, connected it electrically. It's got that big cable runs there. It takes, uh, it takes 70 amps of three phase power. So it's pretty, pretty hardcore. That was an interesting job to run that cable. And then had to figure out the coolant. So there's a whole whack load of coolant. As you can see in there. Um, and uh, yeah, climbed a big learning curve for that. And I installed this coolant mist filter. So that thing up there, which is running right now, it pulls all the coolant mist from inside the machine and then sort of catches it in these filters and then returns the coolant to the machine. So that way we don't breathe as much coolant in the air in the shop. And then yeah, building this, building this fixture was a learning curve. So it's got this base that makes it easy to detach and, and attach the, this whole big block. And this is actually from a big square steel tube. 
and uh, I welded this this steel plate at the bottom. We attached these pull studs, and then that gets pulled and locked onto this base. And so the way this is going to go is that we're going to have the two tension arms, the first side and the second side like this, and then reflected on the back side of this of this big tombstone rectangular thing. And so that way, every time we run a program for the tension arms, we're going to have four finished tension arms. And here, <laughs> some of you might have noticed, that was uh, our first and uh, only so far crash of the machine. And we just basically lowered a, a tool holder and it slammed right into there. And um, it wasn't a rapid move and we checked and everything was okay. But uh, yeah, we're, we're learning a lot here. This is Alex's computer. He's been figuring out a lot of the programming of the machine for the cutting. And if I just select the setup, yeah, that's all the little tool paths, with all kinds of different cutters that do all the cutting. And then there's this big, there's this big umbrella here with a whole bunch of different uh, tool holders and with different cutters that the machine can switch between. This is the last off that splits the two tension arms apart. this works. That's a slitting saw now that's cutting the cable channel on the tension arm. Doing a two millimeter wide channel. All right, Alex is gonna unload the, the tension arm now. What do you think? Ah, oh, looks pretty good. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, so this is V1. We forgot to add some champers and stuff on this one. I don't know this guy. 